Hi guys, so I'm just going to do a huge pet haul. This video will be split into two parts because it's just going to be a ridiculously long video otherwise. I was going to do it by shop and just show you the products, but I may as well show you what's here and then I'll show you what's over there. I don't know like how long each part's going to be, but I'll just split it in half roughly. Also, excuse the noise, there's a bunny in there. As you can see, his little head keeps popping up. So I'll basically show you the things he's got in now, and then I'll show you like his things that he has in storage over there and over there. So yeah, I'll just show you. I'll start with his hutch. This was from Pets Home. It's the Bluebell Hideaway. It was ninety-nine pounds. Uh, when I bought it, I bought it ages and ages ago. I had a coupon and there was also a percentage off online as well. So I ended up getting this for about £69, which was great. It is brand new, it was never used, it wasn't a showpiece or anything. It was just the office they had on at the time. And I think they currently still have the 15% off if you spend 100 or more. So if you buy this for 99 and then chuck in a toy or something, you get 15% off, which knocks it down considerably. I think that is only online though, I don't think that is an in-store offer. So I won't go into detail about what's in this hutch yet, I'll just show you his pen. Um, so his pen itself was from Amazon and it was from Binky Bunny or Bunny Business or something like that and it was supposed to be has a retail price of 59.99 but they had it reduced to 28.99 and then i had a coupon so i ended up getting it for about i think it was 11.99 i ended up paying for this which was a huge 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 discount from what it's supposed to be and what it's worth it's fully functional and everything it's brand new it's just i had an amazon code thing so i got it cheaper uh, it comes with the little cover because obviously this is the both of these are supposed to be outdoors. I just have them indoors, and they come with little metal spiky things. Let's see if I can zoom in. These things here, these are what you're supposed to like stick into grass or the ground with. Um, but obviously, mine's indoors, so I just have zip ties two on each corner, and then I have uh, one in one or two in the middle of each top bit over there and over here and then one in the centre on each middle just to make it more sturdy for it being indoors otherwise you know I'd be terrified of it being able to move or something. So I will start with just what is in his pen. So I'll start with the base of his pen that is a cardboard box. It's just laid flat out. It's completely it's the box the pen came in but I just opened it all up and sprawled out just so he doesn't damage floors because obviously I'm in a rented property so I don't want the landlord to be like your bunny's destroyed everything and then on top of the wooden cardboard uh, floor we have this lino piece and this is just what was left from lining his hutch with I will go into more detail on the lino later on but this is just like a tiny off cut of what was spare so that in all of the lino for his hutch and that bit was 14 pounds because I got it from a discount shop and it was an off cut as well so it was just about enough lengthwise and widthwise for what I wanted we have his bowl and that is just from Asda it's a cat bowl, it's the smallest one and it just fits his pellets in when he has his veg of an evening sometimes I have to pile it up but it all fits in and I just love the design on it then he has his water bottle which I got from a local shop but Wilkinson's, Jolly's, Pets at Home sell these. This is just the large one. I think it was about two ninety nine, and obviously it comes with the hook too. Then I have his tunnel. This again was off Amazon, and I think this was the retail price is six ninety nine, but Amazon was selling it for four ninety nine. So it's the Rosewood Fun Tunnel or something like that. It's Rosewood Tunnel, and it's I think it's supposed to be for outdoors because it's that waterproofy material but it does actually have a hole that side so you can attach another one to it. It's just with him going in it constantly, it always rotates around. He just has a building block here and some more here. These are just kids building blocks. I had a massive packet of them. I had a huge bag of them so I just give him you know, some and then when 
they get dirty or whatever I just change them out because he doesn't chew them because he doesn't chew plastic but they were nice and cheap I think the entire bag was given to me as a like just a oh we're getting rid of these can you use them so I did um so I've got those he then has his two ducks he only used to have one duck because obviously he's a lone rabbit and I will get into why he's a lone bunny rabbit but that will be a different video so he used to have one duck except it's getting a bit tatty so before it completely gets destroyed and he's attached to it I figured I'd put in a new duck so that he can get his scent on both of them get used to both of them and then when his old one is so destroyed it's not safe for him to have anymore then he will just have the new duck and again that process will just continue as he you know gets older then this tunnel is just from the range this was 149 it's the biggest one they have and it was 99p uh, pets at home sell them and jewelry sell them it's just i've seen them in the range and they're loads cheaper then this is just a beer box this is put flat every single night before i go to bed and obviously the little hole is for him to climb into and he always tips it up like this so he must be getting some fun out of it then i have over here a couple of um children's ball pit balls uh, they're basically just scattered all over his thing they were in a nice pile but he kicks them moves them turfs them everywhere so they just end up all over the place then he has this dog bed this was from jolly's and it was 18 pounds it's basically fabric and then it has a fleece white bit which you can just see the base of it there he doesn't like this on its own he likes to sit on it but he hates like the fleecy bit like he chews it and wheeze on it so I tend to just put an old towel over it, fold the towel in half, put it on it, and he loves it. He sits on it all the time, doesn't chew it, doesn't wee on it, and he's great. Then I have this dog bed. This was from a car boot sale. This was £2, and it's quite a large size compared to him, obviously. And then just in there, I just have, again, another old towel folded in either half or a quarter. Some more of the ball pit balls, a few building blocks, and then that over there I'll see if I can get a better angle for you that is just a willow ball pets at home sell them I again got it from a boot sale it's just a small sizey one but pets at home sell the bigger ones same material for seven quid it's just I got a set two big ones uh, two little ones like this and then a really big one for seven pounds so he's just got the two little ones and I'll switch them out when that one gets chewed and stuff We just have tucking you off the tripod because hello he's having a bit of a nose uh, just because otherwise you won't be able to see this this is a hay nest from pets home it was 150 these are two of the trio balls they are about 253 pounds four pounds depends where you get them wilkinson's are cheaper than pets home usually and then i just have this little acorn here it was in a pack from pets at home i don't know if that's been in a video before but that's what that is uh, so they were part of a three pack for three pounds i think paid and then that was from pets home then just has this and this is just a no block this was 150 from pets at home and he doesn't chew it because he's not a big wood chewer unless it's like it's hutch or something but he has quite a few wooden treats occasionally like just sprawled places he just never touches them and in there he has his litter tray. I'm not actually going to show you what it looks like because I haven't yet cleaned it. I'm going to do it after this video. But this is just a Wilco large litter tray and it's either £2 or £3. And he just has that part layered with newspaper on top of the lino. And obviously it filled with litter and hay. I will show you his litter later on. I actually missed this out this is a rattle it was from a shop called bargain buys and it was one pound kids rattles kids toys things like that are great and then also hiding let's see if i can turn this hiding behind this box was just a little where are we a little jingly ball he flings this all the time so that was from Wilkinson's and I think it was something at like 125 or something. He has a variety of um, 
little jingly ball things because he just loves them. Thanks guys for watching. This is where this part will end. I have, I will film the rest of this, so I'll film this bit over here. Excuse me. I'll film this bit over here and that will go up next month, well the end of this month, the beginning of next month for part two. The only reason I'm splitting it is because it's, it was such a huge, huge video. So I wanted to split it so that it'd be more manageable for you guys to watch instead of having to sit and watch like a 30-40 minute video. So I'll film what's over there and that will be November's pet haul. But this is the October one. I'm sorry it was all mishmashed and um, sort of random if you like. But I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if it was too long for some of you guys. But thank you guys for watching and there will be more pet videos coming soon. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye guys.